<laughs> you want control and you want things done the way that you want it. And there is no compromising. You want to move on. But your person right here is opposite. They don't want to take responsibility and they take daily dally. But you always give them that second chance because there's always that part of you that is hopeful. But now you're questioning yourself. Did I make a right decision? You're in a crossroads because your person is messaging you, talking to you. There was a time where you said it's like, enough, enough with this game. I want something serious. I deserve a serious relationship, not something casual. And don't come back until you are changed and that you can offer to me the love that I deserve, a family, the love of your life. But then this is what you're getting, upsetting, empty, disappointed, and you're just ready to throw in the towel. Same thing as your person. Well, you got yourself a pickle here. Well, hopefully not a pickle, wink. But Scorpios, what you got yourself into? Okay, we're gonna see your side and your person's side. If I didn't get you in the, the first 30 seconds, I don't think I did a good job then. <laughs> okay. So your side and your person's side. All right. And I'm gonna open your chart here. Of course, I do sidereal astrology here, Vedic. Um, I follow ascendant and moon sign here. Here you can watch how you see fit. Um, if you don't know your birth chart, in the description box below, it's important for you to get your ascendant or moon sign. You're going to go down there, download the step, step one, download that app. It's a free to download, free birth chart interpretation. The step two, also in the description, is if you want to be more smart with how you make your decisions and aligning with the stars, signing of contract, pursuing, you know, some sort of business or relationship, you know, like their specific time that you can, of course, um, how to say this, uh, um, plan it out. Okay. So let's see your side. Um, let's see, one second. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Um, they've been like this, right? for quite some time now, okay? You got the emperor, you got the chariot and the fool. They've been like, kind of like back and forth with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, just, uh, why is your chart like this? Sorry, I got locked out. You have the chariot and the fool. Hmm. Why are you always crazy about this person, Scorpio? Why? My question. Why? I just I don't understand why you have such a good control of your life as an emperor. You're a star, you're famous, you're successful, you got the works, your business thriving. Mm-hmm. You see that? Emperor and the star. Mm. You got this amazing things ahead of your life. Like you're in the path of greatness. I have to say that. Emperor with the star card. We're going to go there. <laughs> We're going to go there, Sal, today. Two of swords with a page of pentacles. Why you always make this? Is that blind? Like... This person always catches you blindsided, Scorpio. Mm, someone's gonna get their tea right now. Their wine, <laughs> Sal is getting through it. Why is this younger person, can be, your weakness to make good decisions in life? Two of Swords and the Star. Uh, two of Swords with the Chariot. You're doing amazing. And you have to pause your life for this person. Why? They do say page of coins with a fool. It's like... Very enticing kind of message because it does promise a future. There, if you're the control and you could be living vicariously in their life, does it make sense to you? Like they have so much freedom in their life, time wise, and you're not, you know, with that Emperor and the Star card, it's just like your life, your months ahead is already planned. 
your schedule already planned. This year already signed, basically. And this person is the fool in the page of pentacles. They give you the chance of a break in your life, isn't it? And it makes you feel alive. And that's a very Scorpio thing because they're dying with work and their career. And, you know, not that you're dying, you're enjoying it. Trust me on that one. But you like this twist in life. You like a little bit like the fool in the page of pentacles. You want to play risk. Uh, is it playing risk or you're risking something here? Page of pentacles with the fool. Okay. Now, chart, seven of wands, ace of pentacles with the three of cups. Okay. I'm seeing here, seven of wands, ace of pentacles, where your person right now is saying, like, you want to go steady? It's not even a word, ace of pentacles. They ask you, and then they turn the whole ship around, and they said, for you, it's like, you were led on. There you go. Ten of cups. You were led on to think, and then they go, like, I'm sorry. I really thought I'm ready. Ace of pentacles. And then, look at this. Nine of wands, five of cups. You got upset. Like, what? Why, why, why say all those things if you don't mean it? Right? Ace of pentacles. Why say all those things? It was happy. Like, you were really, you know, cloud nine over here. With the Three of Cups. Mm. You see that? Mm -hmm. Now, there are certain Scorpios here who's beyond this, meaning you're enjoying the read, but that doesn't mean I'm invested, Sal. <laughs> you have more invested, you're more invested here. Some. Ace of Pentacles, the Star, and the Emperor in your business. When I say you're minding your own business, uh, you may be an entrepreneur, but this is about your own life. Ace of Pentacles, the star, the stability, the success, the money, the finances, the gains. Ace of Pentacles here. You're planting a seed, it's going to grow success. You're inventing something, it's going to grow success. You're an emperor, you run your own SHIT, success again. Um, as a Scorpio myself, okay, I want to share with you a secret that I have not gatekeep, but now I'm opening the gates on... I started with nothing. Zilch. Okay. But, you know, right now, of course, a little bit comfortable living. Let me share what did I do and how I did it to get where I'm at. 2017, I've uploaded my first video. I have all the energy, but sometimes, you know, it gets you down. And, you know, citrine was the crystal that has helped me um, in this, you know, tough times, you know. And it's a perfect citrine that I made also for our bracelet right now. And I just want to share the same blessing that I got from it. Because when I was in my low, it's what helped me still push and get that, you know, get that success, get that energy, high vibration. And I'm happy to share it with you guys. Okay. So, I still have it. You see that? Mm-hmm. That's the first. And, of course... I made this. Mm -hmm. This is Citrine. Um, it, it's been part of my journey. It's been that go-to crystal for me. Finances-wise, it has helped. And this is one of... Uh, um, someone mined this for me. I'm not going to say where it's from, but it is a natural Citrine because we don't... Uh, you know, it's like the person wants to be <laughs> a little bit... Uh, um, I would call this like... The, the person doesn't want attention. <laughs> okay. So coming back to the read. Oh, everything is in the description. If you order this, it's made to order. So it will take time. Don't expect it like, oh, I get it. Just because you paid, you get it right away. No, darling, wait, okay? It's handmade, okay? Let me do my work, you know? Art takes time, okay? And magic takes time. So I have to put the magic there. Mm. Okay, coming back here. You're upset with your person, Five of Cups, and then you have the Ten of Cups. It's almost as if like every time life goes well for you, I have to be honest here, something goes down. Okay. Money goes up, relationship goes down. Relationship goes up, money goes down. You got to find that sweet, uh, that happy balance, what they call it. Ah, and I said magician. Yeah, this is a magician right here. As above, so below. You're manifesting something here. Mm-hmm. You have the tools, Scorpio? I got the tools. You see that? That's a citrine. See that? That's an amethyst right there. What's the tool that you're using? I give amulets to people. I recommend that always with a Scorpio. The key. 
when you get the key from us, okay, I just have, I'm just letting you know, the, the one that in the website, I will choose for you because that one is long gone already for if you're manifesting real estate, okay? So I choose, I would go and then look for a key for you. So you don't expect that the one on the picture, I'm being honest here, so that you don't have, you don't set yourself, expect, let me choose it for you. You understand me? Okay. For people who's manifesting real estate. It's an amulet, it's down there. Okay. Oh, your person is taking a break. Okay. No, but this one, you could be manifesting. What if you're manifesting here? Because this is something divine, something you're calling. Like you're, you have a deep calling for, I don't know, like a purpose. There's something, great purpose that you know, that you feel that you're being called for to do. Okay. Then you have here, your person is under a clues right now. They're not participating, Scorpio, they're not. They took their chill pill and they're not there. Um, that's a Pisces card from what I know. Okay, and you have a Pisces also, the full Aries, Aqua, Cancerian, Gemini. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Next 30 days. Best course of action. I like Scorpios who are driven. How I wish, like, I'm not, I'm not saying that others are not driven. Like, if I can filter, like, if you like certain things, um, but it gets, it gets uh, messy in algorithm and YouTube. Like, if I do upload, like, for example, career, finances, it doesn't go to you guys, even though you want it. Because it, if you don't have the bell, the you don't ring it, you don't get notified. And then nobody will see it, basically, in the algorithm. YouTube just basically says, like, okay, no. Um, and of course, I believe like, you know, who's meant to see it, well, who's meant to see it. But sometimes we got to take action. So hit the bell. I don't know. Do you want career, finances, life purpose? You tell me because, you know, sometimes relationship is not the only thing, right? Mm. Queen of Cups. What is your intuition telling you, Scorpio? Four of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Um, your person cannot be trusted. You have the Seven of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. They have ill intention. Someone is being sneaky, hiding. Four of Pentacles, keep yourself, keep your business to yourself first. Okay. Now, I forgot your chart here. Um, in your chart, of course, Scorpio, we got Venus in the eighth, ruler of the seventh. Sudden changes in relationship. Mars debilitated now in Cancer. It You may become impatient. Okay. You may have some sort of like outbursts. Here and there, um, good to work out, take you know like run, basically. You got the hangman, two of wands, and six of pentacles. Um, seeing here for you with the hangman, your person is stuck on this situation right now, and I don't understand why you are allowing this, Scorpio. With the six of pentacles, the whole chump change that they're giving to you. You are someone who's in the Divine Path, Queen of Cups, the Star card. And you're, you just have to say this, you're settling for this right now. They have been delaying this relationship for quite some time. The Hangman, nine days, nine months, hopefully not nine years or nine, nine decades. Um, they, this is the promise that they give you and you're still holding on to that promise. The Star card, of course, is a soulmate card. So you have met this person, chances are. Maybe when Rahu and Taurus, you know, Rahu was in Taurus. You know, like there was something last, last year mm -hmm. that has happened that you're still questioning and thinking about that with a star card. Let's see if you are destined to be together. And I want to know, I want to see the dirt. The Scorpius want the, to see the truth with the seven of swords, what they've been hiding. Ten of cups, do they mean it? Do they want this, the relationship, you know, to be with you? And... The Ace of Pentacles, the serious offer. I want to see that because that's very promising. That's like what affirming you that you guys will be together. Okay. Let me see here. 
Now, everything is... Oh, five coins. No contact. Everything is in the description. We're not done. We're gonna get your card to focus. Okay. Don't forget, guys. Okay. Of course, it goes by if you order now, then it's as fast as I can make it. So, the earlier that you order, the faster that I can make it for you. But you gotta be patient. Oh. All right. You want to see the direction of this, where it's headed? Six of Swords, there's the sun over there. So you want to clear the path. You want the uncertainty. Like, okay, so many things I don't understand with the Seven of Swords. I want to know if this person is lying or their intention is true and real. Because I want to go, I have a specific direction. The sun is right there. So you just want to consider before you chop this person down, okay, meaning done with it, and then you can move on. Because the full card is moving on and chart the same thing. Or should I, you know, take a look back and see? Maybe it does deserve a second chance or it does deserve some sort more of your energy and consideration. Well, let's find out. Link in the description box below for the extended reading.